All right. It's just uh just the stream info. info is updated. Asthma running. Get my game capture. Switched over. No. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. Jin's audio. E settings, maybe. Other. Voice recognition. Darn it. There we go. Okay. And let me just make sure that this is all set up. Okay. Private game. Grab the code. Send it. Change my avatar to my normal one. Buy some gear. Hello. Hello. Some events that led to that not okay, happening. Sorry. You could tell me uh, later or on Telegram. I'm buying stuff right now. Well, I was just. I don't know. I tripped and fell, sprained my ankle. Tigger got Basically, scared, ran outside. Uh, Way to go! Yeah, so Seth chased her down and. So she was already terrified because, well, she got scared because I hit the ground, and then she's terrified because Seth is chasing after her, and so she's scratching the heck out of him, and then I get over there, and not only does she scratch me, but she bites me, she draws blood, she gets set from, she gets loose from me because obviously I can't force my body to hold on to a very angry cat. Um, she runs back up the stairs, tries to fit herself through the railing, decides she doesn't want to do that, so we go upstairs, we open the screen door very slowly, I run over, scruff her, bring her, she, she poops on the landing, and then pees when she lands, because I chucked her, I go from the door to the kitchen, bleeding the entire way, because I'm on a blood thinner, um, and then I had to give her a bath, and then I had to handle my wounds, and, yeah. That sounds fun. And by fun, I mean not at all. I love my cat. I do. And I'm not mad at her because I know she was scared, but I am a little bit perturbed. It happens. So yeah, I'm just ready to zone out into games. Let's do it.
use truck streams to help locate the ghost. Well, why would I do that? Especially since half my truck screens are broken. What? But who where? I decided to keep the cat bite clean rather than um deal with my adhesive allergy. Oh. Well, I mean that is a choice that you made. It's one evil over the other. And I'm pretty sure the greater evil is a cat bite. Yeah, probably. Do you already have an EMF? No. I have a thermometer and the spirit box. Negative. I am a meat popsicle. And if you don't know where that's from, I'm very sad. You may as well be sad then. I just don't know how to set off hand. There's a music box behind you. Mmm. Uh, it might be in the nursery. Maybe. Recently, it has either A been where the bone is, or B been in the hallway. It's always a hallway ghost. Not tarot card. Oh yeah, I saw the music box. I don't need to check for tarot cards. Oh, I've done that before too. Lockers are open. Woohoo! My favorite hiding. And it, it touched a door. Open. That door? Yep. Effing hallway ghosts. Where are you? Are you here? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Where are you? Scooch back. It already answered you once. Shh! I want to see... Give us a sign. Are you friendly? Do you want us to leave? Where are you? Are you here? Give us a sign. Where are you? Are you here? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Are you here? Where are you? Where are you? Give us a sign. Huh. We have fingies. So we have okay, we need to look for a ghost orb. I'm not sure it's in here anymore. Why wouldn't it be? They don't usually leave immediately. <laughs> says you. Temperature's up in here, though. I don't think it's in there. Fifteen. I swear it better not be a hallway ghost. If, it, if it's a hallway ghost, are we leaving? No. But I'll be mad. I think it is in the hallway now. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell with that blasted thermometer. I do not see a ghost orb, so if you want to carry one around and check the rest of the house. I'm going to.
Where did I check the blue light? On the door. It's under the door. We have a ghost orb in the basement, which means we have a mimic. Well, we may as well do the other objectives. Both of the cruises are in the house, so... So go move one. from inside the house? Yup. <sighs> the tripod just scared the crap out of me. LOL. Got our candle. Well, that's good. You know, when I was up here, it was probably me and Kate the twins. Maybe. That's the only thing that really makes sense to me. Or just moved. No, I don't want to agree with that. I'm gonna go get Fred. Oh, Frank. Frank. Hopefully I can get a ghost photo and not die. That would be a good idea. I'll anchor for you. Well, I need the other camera already. I will toss it at the front door for you. Why? Well, I'm right here. I, I guess that's fair. <laughs> Efficient ghost hunting. Those two separate things of fingerprints. They are. That's what that sound is. Can I take your picture? Will you sing a song for me? I'm aware we haven't found the bone. I want a ghost. F I have my ghost photo. Yes, you do. Gonna hide in here for a little bit. Okay. 
Head back to the truck. Take pills. And then see if I can find the bone. If not, I'll just take a picture of... There's exactly one pill for you to take, because I'm anchoring. Cool. Um... Alright. Well, we have all our secondary objectives, so now I just need to find the bone, I guess? I hate when the bone is hard to find. Since that's the only other photo, I would check on the couch. I found a hand on the couch the other day. I checked the couch when I came in. Did you check the rug? Yeah. They blend in with the rug. I know. Did you find it on the TV stand one time? I found him in a number of places. Remind me that the hall closet is open. Oh, gee, thanks. I thought I heard the door slam. Leave me alone. <laughs> I thought I heard it slam this time, too. Oh, no, that's because I accidentally closed it. I tried to open it the whole way and it pulled toward me instead. Yeah, that happens. No, oh, there it is. Okay, we can go. Okay. You have Mimic circled? I do, do you? Yes. Hooray! Money! Bucks. Hooray! Money! Yes, yes. Well, since I lost all of my money playing with my friends, I uh, definitely need it. <laughs> and all of my equipment. It happens. Okay. Um... I guess let's go Ridgeview. Okay. I am down to 20 bucks and I only have half of my equipment. Reports of light switching. Are you dead? No, I'm not dead. Just messaging people. Okay. Motion sensor, go crazy, EMF. I'm not going to say the words. I swear to God, if I walk in here and they're terrified. We have hiding in the living room. No tarot cards. We have hiding in the living room. We have a mirror. Hello, mirror. Teal bedroom. Okay. 
Doop 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 lockers in the back of the garage are open. This is the blue bedroom. This is the purple bedroom. That's a bathroom. Rogue, you fool. Um, the master bedroom is teal. Oh, gosh, you're right. That's probably the master. Or not. Upstairs hallway. Which hallway? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Give us a sign. Hey, there's the bone. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Give us a sign. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Give us a sign. We have freezing temperatures. Where are you? Are you here? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. If it wouldn't let you chat, it's because you weren't signed in. You'll have to move the uh, video camera. I have it in the wrong spot. Well, then I'll just not bring in dots or the book because those are useless. And I don't think it's going to be um, a mimic. Me either. Probably a hantu. That's going to be my guess is a hantu. Do we have a motion sensor? Did you take it? We should have a couple. If you can uh, bring in an extra can of salt. I've got both cameras. What? I have both cameras. Oh, okay. Yeah, the first time all I got was I have both. Fingies on the door. Oh, they just disappeared. Frick. I don't know if you got him. Nope. He just touched the light switch, though. Okay. No, he didn't. It's not right now. Okay, um, we just need the motion sensors. Which I think I dropped 
popped up there instead of coming out. I'm not. I'm not seeing them. What the heck? I had one. Are you sure? Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Hey, look, that's done. Now we just gotta go crazy. Well, we also have to find out for sure what Uh, happens. get smudge. Because if it's a, um... Wait, no, it can't be a Dajin. What am I saying? We have a Jin Daemon or Hantu. Well, we still should have smudges. You picked up a ca candle and not a smudge, sir. Yes, I'm aware. Okay, let's go crazy. Actually, I'm gonna pick a locker in the garage. It just seems safer. All right. Did we find where the power is? I'm guessing basement. Negative, it's probably in the garage. But I didn't see it. Oh wait, never mind, here it is. Okay, we'll leave the power off until it hunts. And if it goes super fast during a hunt, then uh, we know it's a Hantu. Like that. Oh, it was your light. Got it. Yeah. Just gotta wait on this average sanity to drop. Yeah, and if I was feeling insane, I would, you know, go use the mirror until it broke. But I just don't care enough. The most hype waiting action available on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> so how is everybody doing this evening? Just killing time, waiting for my sanity to drop. pick up my candle. That should help it drop faster. Oh, I forgot to switch Nightbot. So it's still set to uh, explain Final Fantasy. Oh well. <laughs> This ghost seems pretty tame. Oh wait, there it is. Okay. Now we wait to hear if it's speedy.
Oh yeah, you speedy. Go away. I think it's definitely a Hantu. Alright, let me see. Hunt over. I'm gonna turn the heat on. And then, uh, wait for it to hunt again. You sure you don't want me to do that? Yeah. Worst case scenario is it's a gin, and it'll be speedy until it finds me. Well, it won't be able to find me because I'm going to hide. It was. If it's a Hantu, it'll get slower now that the heat's on. I'm staying with you. Okay. Still pretty fast. Maybe it's a demon. I think it's done. Maybe it's a demon. I also think that. Because it was about the same speed. Yeah. Because I don't think it's a mimic, because it didn't give us any ghost orbs. So, I'm going to call it a demon. Demons are gold. What about you? You ready? I'm ready. Woo, party. Party in the van. What? Okay, whatever. B S. Yeah, one hundred percent. It was the same exact speed. But it was. Stupid. It was. That. I'm a little annoyed by that. Whatever. That's okay. We didn't die, so. This is true. Okay. Um, Edgefield, I guess. That works. Mikey. Yeah. Candle smud, uh, candle cleanse, and repel. Great. Of course, repel. If there's tarot cards, we're leaving. Music box. Walking around here with the video camera just on normal mode like an idiot. <laughs> just like, I'm taking you on my tour in my crib. This is this is Rogue TV's cribs. Your crib, huh? Yeah, this is Rogue TV's cribs. Yeah, it's definitely upstairs. It's gotta be upstairs.
about the basement. You ain't gonna go to I haven't gone to the basement yet, you're right. It's definitely in a bedroom. Yeah, I just heard a cell phone. No, I'm gonna resist the urge to turn the power on. Good call. Gins are straight evil power bank thing. Although there is a cell phone here, so... I don't know, I also heard it knock on something, so... Yeah. We'll find out. I just opened a door or something. Did you close this door? Nope, it was to our right. I think it's in this bedroom. I think it's in the blue bedroom here. Hey, the spine's on the bed. I think it was uh, messing with this door here. Well, definitely in here. Where are you? Give us a sign. Are you here? Are you friendly? Do you want us to leave? Where are you? Give us a sign. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Where are you? Thanks for that, buddy. We got spirit box. No ghost orb. He's behind me. That's always nice. <laughs> Trying not to be creeped out by the spirit box. Failing, but trying. I haven't seen thingies, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Dots and book are down, so let's get the other objectives. I'm gonna work on the smudge. Smudge, candle, and repel, so... May as well do the candle, too. There's a candle in the house I can steal, I think. I'm just bringing it. I swear if he's moved in, like, the two minutes it's taken us to get up here... I'll be very upset. No, he didn't, because I just saw dots, I think. Okay, cool. Hide? Just take our spine there. There we go. Okay, go ahead and pill up a bit and give me a sanity anchor. This fool move. I think it moved. I think it moved. Check spirit box. 
Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Negative. It, it's here. Dang it! Of course, it does a ghost event, and then... I'm dead! I swear, it better have given me the ghost photo. And in a two st Trash game. Trash game. I don't know if I'll be okay repelling, like I'm bad at it, so I'm... Did it seem angry you were talking? Was it fast? I didn't notice anything. Possibly it's a phantom. I'm going to try Phantom. It's probably not a Phantom. It was a Wraith. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. <laughs> we were both wrong. Love that. Which... Hmm. All right. Well, let me rebuy. Let me finish buying, and I'll provide this round. You don't have to. But I should. Nah, you don't have to. I don't have to, but I did. <laughs> well, all right. Where do you want to go? Asylum? Prison? High school? Why do you always ask me? Because um, I want to know what you're know. feeling. What about Willow Street? We haven't done Willow Street. All right, we'll go to Willow. It doesn't help that I'm sitting here playing in the dark. Playing in the... In the dark. Good job. So, escape, witness, and... Repel. All your favorites. Oh, yeah. Actually, the only other one that I would absolutely despise with that is prevent. Yeah, the crucifix one is just annoying. Tarot cards? Nope. Nope. Music box? Music box. Why has it been music box every game today? I don't know. But there's hiding right there. Cool.
I heard the EMF go off for a second. Interesting, because I didn't. It did it again. Also, oh, see that? that's a ghost event. It's in the hallway. Of course, it's in the bloody hallway. That would be why the EMF was going off randomly. Again, it never did on my screen, so that's really entertaining. Where are you? Are you here? Give us a sign. Where are you? Are you friendly? Do you want us to leave? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Well, it gave me spirit box earlier, and now it's stopped. I'm not sure. Close all the doors. Yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. I really, uh, you know, mock the ghosts and... Uh, they don't- they don't seem to like me very much for it. Maybe it's because I'm mean to them. Well, I don't know. Can you touch something for me? I'm gonna go Door. check the basement for the, uh... Anything. You might want to check those bedrooms because I might have gotten spirit box in the hall because it was like really close to the door or something. I'm so host if she comes in here. And it is so fast. Shoot. I'm dead. Possible Dajin. Yes, it can be. But I hid successfully in the living room. Well, that's because it was after me. No, it walked right past me. My heartbeat went super fast. Oh. Well, then, yeah, it's not a day agent. Sure. I don't like doing these objectives by myself. <laughs> well, at least I didn't buy a bunch of gear. Welcome back. There's at least I didn't provide a bunch of gear this time. Yeah, that's fair. And the freaking twins, like, seriously. Meh, things happen. Kinda 
trying to make sense though they were probably in the hallway and the bedroom because i opened that back left bedroom door it evented and then hunted immediately yeah I think yes. that I am done for the night because I'm really tired and my hand hurts. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Night, night. Later. Later. Good night. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Well then. That's okay. I need a bio break anyway. So, let me just pull up OBS here. I'll leave you with the soothing tones of... of Phasmo. All right. Back. Let's switch games real quick. Hmm. You know what? Play another game.
from my childhood. Deja vu. Let me just get the game capture window. Get rid of that text overlay. And turn off bed chat. Turn on fontificator. I don't know why it's all out of position, but okay. That is loud. Actually, you know what? We'll turn off Fontificator. Turn bed chat back on. And I think this has an option. There we go. Now I can actually make this the size of the window. All right, deja vu. You're waking from a stupor that feels like a chronic headache after a week in Vegas. You notice your right palm is covered with dried blood, but you can neither see nor feel any wounds. You feel a sharp pain on your left forearm. Rolling up the sleeve, you find a tiny puncture on your arm. Has a doctor injected me with the medicine? Then you realize you can't remember who you are. You have no idea where you are and why you're here. You have no memory whatsoever. Welcome to Deja Vu. Open the pocket. We'll take the coins. Take the lighter. Take the gum. Let's just take everything out of the pocket here. We'll close the pocket. We'll take the coat. Oh, hey, a 38. 
Let's take the 38. Of course we're going to save. So let's see here. We use the coat. Actually, let's examine the coat. Light brown trench coat that matches our trousers. Well, presumably it's ours. Okay, fine. We're in the raw washroom. Let's look at the mirror. Hmm. Can't remember who we are. Can we use the sink? No. <laughs> I forgot it gives you some motivational speaking. Well, so much for the gum. Examine the sunglasses. Yeah, they don't fit. J.S. Maybe we're J.S.? I mean, we have J.S. on our handkerchief and lighter. Okay. Apparently we can't put our trench coat on. That's fine. Um, let's open the wallet. What's that key say? Key with the word office inscribed. Well, let's take that out of the wallet. I guess we'll take the card and we'll take that $20 bill too. This is set in the 40s, so $20 is actually quite a lot of money. Let's also take another a close look at that wallet. Hmm. Looks very expensive. Can we afford a very expensive wallet? Who knows? Now we could go back, or we can go forward. This just leads back to the washroom. I believe. Oh no, okay. Let's go into this hallway. Oh, we're in the women's washroom. Let's check out the wastebasket. Anything in here of note? No. There is a door there. Hmm. Broken toilet. <laughs> we are relieved that we find nothing inside. Okay. Hmm. Well, maybe we have scared everybody away. Shot glass full of seltzer, huh? Oh. We have to take it first. That might come in handy. 
What's that door? Wine cellar. Well, it's unlocked. Empty street with no one in sight. Highly polished bar counter. Let's head upstairs. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's no good. Well, let's uh, let's use this seltzer. Because they supposedly find it refreshing. Poster of some boxer named Doghouse Riley. Huh. The name underneath says Ace Harding. It doesn't ring a bell. Get it? Puff McMuffin. <laughs> Cheap perfume still lingering in the air, huh? One moment. Alright, there we go. Everyday run of the mill desk. Let's open the drawer. Hey. And because we're not rude, we're gonna close the desk. You know. We're a polite amnesiac. Standard legal size envelope. Well, let's open it. There's a bill. The bill from Dr. Brody made out to Joe's Bar, 934 Sherman Street, Chicago, Illinois. Alright, so we're in Chicago. The Windy City. Capsules. Sodium pentothal. Medrazine. Diethanol trimine. Yeah. As a chemist, I'm like, um... <laughs> you bought a what now? <laughs> you bought what with the where now? That door's locked, huh? Well, we're in an office. Where's that key? Click! Let's look out the windows. Nothing unusual. Alright. Oh, that's bad. There appears to be something in his pocket. Well, let's open the pocket. You know. He has the Mercedes-Benz trademark on it. Well, thanks for the Mercedes, bub. Let's just go ahead and close his pockets then, shall we? It's a wall safe with a combo lock. Pool of dried blood on the desk. Drawer on the other side. Let's open the drawer. Ah, uh, pencil might come in handy. And let's take that key too. Open the window behind this stiff. And head upstairs. 
really game. When there's a fire, you use it to escape. Mmm. Let's see what's above Joe's ba. It looks weird. It looks weird. Understatement of the century. It looks weird. Just gonna clip that real quick. Empty medicine vial, sodium pentothal is written on the label. Medrazine. Diethanol trimine. Why does that sound familiar? Well, let's take the one that's not empty. Let's check this waste basket. Hmm, capsules. Yeah, they might. It won't open, huh? What's that? Elevator button. Cool, the elevator slides open. Top floor is where we already are. All right. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Let's open the manhole. And I guess go outside. A mugger. Oh, I know how to deal with muggers. That's right. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. Let's go back down. We're in the deepest part of the sewer. Here we can get rid of stuff. Well, actually. Let's leave these sunglasses down here. We don't need them. And if you get rid of the wrong thing... 
you can mess yourself up. Okay. Let's see here. Can I remember my way out of the sewers? Yes. It's not open. Well, let's open it. And why don't we, while we're at it, let's open... Hey, that looks like a casino! Money, money, money! Real wet roulette wheel and some one-armed bandits yeah why not no luck I don't remember if you control the buttons or not? I don't think you do. No, you don't. I think this middle one is is uh, designed to always have you lose. Ah, so close. Come on. Shoot. Hey, we're a winner. Twelve coins. Three bucks? Oh, hey, it's the elevator. Well, we know where the bottom goes. So... Let's see what the third floor does. And it puts us back in the office. Whoa. Secret means in and out of that office, huh? Alright, let's go down this way to the wine cellar. Let's open the tap. Alright, fine. We'll close the tap. <laughs> we'll make a big mess. Oops. Wrong way. Ah, here we go. Here's our wine cellar. With our hidden casino and our exit to the sewers. Let's see, is that it? That might be it. Yeah. So all that's left is to go outside. Nobody's in the bar. 
Door's locked, huh? Well, I think we got another key, didn't we? Yeah, we have key two and key three. Key marked front. Why would I try to open a key? Hey! We're on the street in front of Joe's bar. We can't see anybody. Let's save the game. Because as we found out a few minutes ago, there be muggers around here in Chicago. Let's see, we have a Mercedes key. So let's use the key. Wait, is this a Mercedes? It is a Mercedes. Door is open. Let's go in. Ooh. Plush interior. Well. Clearly, this is our car. Drunken stupor and all that. Let's sup. Hmm. Hmm. Whoops. Your history. Yep. Okay, fine. Can we open the glove box? Yes, we can. Let's see, what's note two? Joey Siegel, huh? I wonder if he's related to Bugsy. 1212 West End Street. Street map. 1060 Peoria. Writing on the map reads Ace. Follow this route. That way you'll know if you're being followed. Be careful. You don't want the cops to find Mrs. Sternwood in the trunk. What? It's a snapshot of a 400 pound woman. Huh. Well, let's, uh, let's take the map. And then we'll close the glove box. And we'll leave the car. We'll just go ahead and close the door. All right. Now this will let us move to the front of the car, this will let us move to the back of the car. Right in front of the trunk. Well, we got that Mercedes key. Huh. Alright. That key is not the proper one for the trunk. Oh, that puts us back into the car. What am I saying? Alright. It's been a while. You just got out of prison. You wanted to pay your old friend Bugsy Siegel a visit. So you prepared a little surprise under the hood, huh? Oh, a little surprise in her purse? Let's just, uh... Is it a candy bar? I'm not one for hitting ladies, but... Sounds like she's threatening me with a gun. It's not joking. Yeah, see, she had a gun. Let's, uh, let's take the 20. Let's take the, the piece. And, uh, let's skedaddle. Oh, hey, it's the police station. 
Let's not go in there. Let's I. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to the left this time. Hey, it's a newsstand. Might not be the best time to brush up on current events. Newspapers are for sale. Uh, let's use a coin on the newsboy. Yeah, we'll take the newspaper. Cool. Looking for suspicious characters. Got a call from some dame who lives across the street from Joe's bar. Told them that she saw some funny goings on, huh? Oh. Oh. We know what day it is now. The nation's just about to enter World War II. Eats all night gun palace. I don't remember. Yeah. But we can go in here, and we can buy a Luger. Nine mil cartridges, 38 special. Our gun one is a 38. And uh, gun two here is another 38. Saturday night special. And this is a military-issued German Luger. I'm going to... take the 38s rounds. Just four. I know where this place is if I need to come back. Alright. Let's see what else is this way. Peoria Street, there's a blue cab. And a yellow cab. Now I remember each of these cabbies, uh... Gives you a slightly different rates. And I don't remember which is uh, which is which. I think the blue one is the friendlier one. Take a look at this business card. Private access card, penthouse, seagull. Hmm. Well, we know where Joey Seagull lives. So let's get in the cab. The hack seems nervous, huh? Hey mister, where you wanna go? German. 75 cents, three bits, huh? Thanks a lot. Perfect. You can steal one ride from the cabbies. And uh, once you steal that ride, they will blacklist you or they will get you arrested. Hmm. 
go upstairs. Ace Harding Private Eye. Huh. Well, let's... Let's go downstairs. Try going in here. Dr. Brody, huh? Shoot. I thought that you could blow open the door. No. All right. That text was a warning. Go to the West End. I'm almost out of money. Might have to take the sewers to get back. Well, we know Joey Siegel lives here. And Joey Siegel would be JS, and I don't think we're Joey Siegel. Uh-huh. Elevators. Hotels have penthouses. Let's use the card on that slot there. We're in a penthouse. Great work of art. Big, well round, well polished mirror. Leather sofa. Kedzie, huh? All right. Let's take the picture. Can we move the painting? Is there a book here we can take? I think the magazine is just flavor text. That's the only way I can go. Well, we better go back to the bar. That was a Peoria.
Thanks, Mac. Yeah, that's it. We're down on our luck. Oh. Uh. Nah. Yeah. We need to go gamble. Hopefully, we don't lose our last coin. Fourteen coins, nice! Let's get some more. Do it again. This time there's enough coins that it might actually, uh, yeah. All right, I'll try one more time. Yeah, it's not gonna win. Oh. It is. Cool. We could pay the cabbie back. Wrong way. It's worth fifty cents to us. Yeah, sure. Joey's hitman is looking for us, huh? He's waiting in our office. Well, that would be nice if we knew who we were. Alright. Alright, alright. Go to Kedzie. Ah, bungalow. Door is locked, huh? Can we hit it? Nope. Can we blow it open with the gun? There we go. We're inside the bungalow. We smell the strong odor of cheap perfume. Hmm. Well, let's take a minute to reload.
No sense in having a piece that ain't fully loaded. What is this? Gaudy pair of pearl earrings. Slip of paper with three numbers on it. Hey, that sounds like a combination. That also sounds like a combination. Let's open the desk. Key five, unmarked. Hmm. Let's take it. Examine the diary. Martha. Bookmark between the pages. Well, let's open the diary. Take a look at this bookmark. J.S., huh? Alright. Close the diary. And let's take it. Now let's open the diary. And once it's open, I think we can examine it. Holding to get lost. John Sternwood. So that's another JS. Hmm. Let's close the diary. What about the bed here? Hmm. Well, I guess the only a uh, address we can go to is uh, Sherman. We have that key now. Maybe that'll open this door. Hey, it worked. Well, we know how to deal with that. Perfect. Ace Harding. Yeah, we'll take that. Joey Siegel's secretary, Martha Vickers, says she wants the order delivered up Joe's bar. Well, let's take that. Peritonitis. Don't know what that means. What about file four? Off real medicine used for the treatment of patients with heart murmurs can be fatal, okay. Medrazine can be fatal. 
Medicine caused permanent memory loss if not quickly countered. Sodium bicarbonate. Medicine induced sodium pentothal. You can induce a state of unconsciousness that at the same time. Truth serum. Triethanol. Diethanol trimines antidote. By sodiumitis. A memory medicine. Well. Sodium pentothal. Sodium pentothal. By sodium. By sodium. By carbonate. Let's take all three of these by sodiums because we're having some memory problems. Use medicine six. Where's the capsules? Okay, use the capsule on ourselves. Hey, memories. Well, if it worked once, ah, Taco, our pet dog. Good thing we didn't take that medrazine. Susie Q. Hey, we're Ace Harding. That would explain why we felt so awful outside of our office. And we know Joey's hitman is waiting for us in here. Let's not get... Let's get the drop on him. Door's locked. I don't know if we have the key for this door. Apparently we do. Check his pockets. Alright, let's not check his pockets. Alright, let's open the cabinet. Huh. That's not suspicious. Wait, Sugar Shack was the blackmailer in the Alderman case. She ain't doing five years anymore. We just ran into her on the street.
It's a box of ammo. We'll take those bullets, thanks. And let's reload our weapon. I think we might have enough to piece this case together. But if we go to the cops now... They've got evidence... That could, uh... Or we've got evidence on us... That could put us in a bad place. Let's go to Peoria. Use that on the cabbie. Right. You're welcome, boss. Is there a way to the sewers in here? Yeah, we don't need to worry about him. Also, you can run into gators in the sewer. Alright, let's leave the handkerchief. Discard the lighter. Right. Let's take the bill. And I realize I need to go upstairs to the office. And I threw away my gun. Oh no. It's alright. Just gotta find my way back to the bar. Let's see. One of these notes will open the safe. What's in the folder? No. We didn't.
Let's open the box. I'll take that key too. Well, we need to get rid of that note. That's pretty incriminating there. Oops, wrong way. One of these days I'll get this straight. Alright, let's see here. Get rid of the map. We could discard the newspaper. And the magazine. Keep the diary. File one. I think we can leave that. Keep that. Get rid of this. We got the bill here. I think we need to leave the Mercedes keys too. Just make a save in case. Yeah, I guess I can't. You know what? There you go, buddy. All right. Let's go talk to the cops. Whoops.
Well, shoot. Missing something. Well, we know this is the trunk key. Let's take the snapshot. Maybe we have to have it in our inventory. No. Hmm. Our only choice here is to give him the money. Yeah. I think I, I think I was right. The the blue cab is the one that doesn't cheat you. But where do we want to go? I guess back to the West End. I have to be missing something.
Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's head back to the bungalow. Maybe there's something there that I missed. Did I miss something in Ace's office? I mean, let's... Sure. Right, can't do that. I mean, file 3 and file 4 isn't going to tell us anything. You know what? I think we need that, but I also think we need a bottle of sodium pentothal. Because we need to go talk to Mrs. Sherman. We need to go to Peoria Street. 
75 cents. I keep doing that. <laughs> Hopefully we don't run into any more muggers because we are out of cash. Alright. Let's talk to the lady here. First. Good. Okay. E4. On the trunk. <laughs> it was apparently open. Alright. Auburn Road. Now we know where we're going. No, we don't need to be... Let me get back to my boy, the cabbie. Speak to the cabbie. Take us to Auburn Road. There we go. 626 Auburn Road. Open the mailbox. Check the mail. Mr. Sternwood. We'll just go ahead and take that, shall we? Hmm. Well, let's use the knocker. Ugh. Ah, get out of my face, bro. Perfect. Ah, a kitchen. Sausage, jar... Ah. Finely detailed porcelain dish... Okay, nothing in the kitchen. That upstairs. Well, let's open them both just to save me a little bit of time. Hey, Take the memo. This is ballpoint pen. We'll close the night table.
go in here. Ah. What's that? Briefcase. Take the briefcase. Let's open this nightstand. We'll take this envelope. Then we'll close the nightstand. And we're not going to investigate any of this stuff in here. You do it in the hallway, though. Blank notepad. The top sheet has several indentations on it. Well... I remember elementary school art class. And how to make impressions. Hey. Good thing we dumped our gun after all. Alright. Let's look at this letter. I think we'll need that to prove our innocence. What's in the briefcase? Nothing. Okay. Standard legal size envelope. What's in it? I think we got everything we need. All right. Take us back to Peoria Street. Go see the cops. Hopefully, we have gotten rid of everything that's super incriminating. I think we have. Shoot.
Hmm. Let's go in the bar for a minute. Maybe I have to take the letters out? I don't know. Maybe I just need to get rid of some stuff in the sewers still. I'm trying to remember. Okay, so it's not really going to let me throw out anything that I really, really need. File 2 we need. Need file 4. Let's leave this envelope. Can I leave the briefcase? Can. Alright, let's see here. Think we need to leave the ransom note behind? No.
try the cops one last time. Yeah! Kidnapping Mrs. Sternward and murder of Joey Siegel. The diary, the blackmail letter, and the timetable. Mm-hmm. Way to go, Ace. We're off the hook. Like nothing's happened. Not in Chicago. And that'll be that. That was deja vu. And that is also the end of the broadcast. Thanks for joining. Hope to see you next time. Let me just see if there's anybody live that I can vouch for. That looks like Charmy's friend Ashwu is uh, streaming, so Let's see if I can set that up. Yeah, we'll go ahead and raid Ashwoo.